morning, good morning. It is September 1st, actually. It's a nice crisp morning. Leaves are still on the trees. Um, not a lot of change in here. There was more leaves changing up north in Michigan than there was here. So, yeah, not seeing any foliage change yet. But I do have some news on the metal detector. No bueno. It's missing too many pieces that, of value that uh, if Daniel says he can't get it working, it means it's missing too much. Like, you know, he, he said he would have done it if it, it could be done. <laughs> so, yep, we got to take that metal detector back to HGR, which it's kind of nice to give us 30 days. So if you buy a piece of equipment, it's not what you'd hoped doesn't work yada 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 you can always return it which is kind of nice actually but uh you got the time invested so that's the downside of buying some used equipment is you have the down you have the time invested in going to getting it looking at it researching it hauling it uh, i've got a lot of time and energy into that thing so but you know sometimes it saves you four or five thousand dollars sometimes more but i will get that return to hgr find a metal detector so September 1st our first large PO uh, from maple sugar is due in 15 days well 14 days and we will be delivering that I think ourselves in our big box truck and um, maybe stopping in Watertown I gotta maybe pick up a new forklift there from HGR uh, so we have some things going uh, today they are trying to make 12,000 pounds I'm sorry 1200 pounds of maple sugar uh, that was Zach's goal so he wants to get as much maple sugar made today this would be his only his second day making maple sugar um, but he has far exceeded what I had hoped we would do um, you know I was kind of preparing on four or five hundred pounds a day and uh, you know, Zach's pushing 12 1200 pounds a day so that's cool. That's cool. It's a good thing. Football games tonight, Friday night lights. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. We will catch you at the end. I don't see any steam. Let's go check and see what's going on inside. It smells delicious. Yes, it does. You learning, Mike? I am. This is interesting, isn't it? Never in a million years did you think this would come out of a tree. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. This is Zach's favorite syrup. Yep. Like, he doesn't really usually give his opinion on syrup, but he can't hide his opinion on Golden Delicate. This is the stuff he loves. What is this, batch number two? Yeah, number two, we're at 240 and 2.30. You think you'll push for four? Really? Are these the new pots? Those come in yet? Did you mark them up? Yep, I did. I scratched the inside. Did you feel like you were going to cut through it? <laughs> I used my Leatherman mic the other day to scratch the inside, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put a hole in this thing. They're not that thick, but they're 400 bucks each back out I'll get both of you in the shop 400 bucks each Let's see what you got and I see your your temperature is not like you're not trying to cook not, the handles I'm not trying to set up the, the uh, yeah look at this this is like very under control let's see this yeah I see that that's important that is our heat escape hole suck it right out till it melts <laughs> this looks really good though so you prefer that type of thermometer I do. that hooks to your phone yeah and then that one has an external if they, if they even have a longer cord cord we could use just the one but i'll bet you they make extensions probably. they're just like headphone jacks aren't yeah. they Yeah, four feet just isn't enough. No. See, you don't even have that all bright red down there. No, not today. So, look at that. Put a little bit less. 
less than this one, they heat up around the same, you know, okay. the same time. Okay. So what's your plan on sifting? You gonna try experimenting? Yeah, we, uh, we, Jody's not here today, and then Kyle went to go pick up pallets with Brent. Okay. So, it's just you two? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Gotcha. For a makeshift system, this ain't bad. Nice. Let's go see what you got going on in here. Get up in there in my oh wow, it's already out. Yeah, dang, these guys are flying today. There's powder, it's a dusty job, isn't it? So, this is batch one, batch one, not pushing the limits of the uh totes today. So, I can try a piece. Breakfast, and it's good. Let's say we're doing it. We got it scraped pretty good. There's still some sugar on the outside. That'll definitely make it. Yeah. What's the uh that is very clean. Yeah. You got enough seed crystal in there. Yeah. Cool. Just the first time Mike's seen it then. Yep. Good deal. Yeah, he was like, like, like I think he's liking it so far. All the science. Somebody mentioned the other day something about Kevlar sleeves. I can't remember who that was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. We're on the move. Now I know. Yeah. 
It just foams up and you don't have to do anything. Yeah. steam going up still. There's still humidity leaving this sugar. That's all water. So as that water leaves, that sugar is going to crumble. And this is all water leaving the sugar. That's how you make dry sugar right here. These guys are lighting the next batch. So this is batch three they're lighting. Go check and see how the sugar's doing in here. She's turning. A little steam. A little humid here, sorry. So interesting. This is uh, the proper way to do it, and that's drive all the moisture out. I'm just amazed at how much that crumbles. This is getting crumbly. So what do you guys figure this is like 300 pounds or so? Yes, sir. Came out of a tree, Mike. Can you believe that? All that sugar came out of a tree. Not one tree, but several trees. It's wild. These guys are working, so I'm leaving. I don't see any messes.